That was a quick demo of a trumpet that I'm selling right now, and that's what this video is about. I don't have the best recording equipment. I just have a mixer plugged into my iPad, and there aren't any effects on this or any editing. So <clears throat> hopefully you, you got a little bit uh, of a idea of the sound of this beautiful trumpet. If you want to see a great uh, demo of what this horn can do, if you go to YouTube and type in uh, Carol Brass Urbell Trumpet and you watch Steve Dillard from Horn Trader, uh, he demos this horn really well and he can show you how great this trumpet is. I'm no more than an advanced beginner player. I'm more of a trumpet hobbyist and I buy and sell a lot of different horns. I usually buy them new and then play them for a while and, and then sell them. And even though I like this trumpet a lot, I'm gonna move on to my next horn and that's kind of, kind of what I do. It's just uh, a little bit, a little hobby of mine. Um, this, uh, I bought this horn brand new from Steve Delert at Horn Trader <clears throat> and it, I bought it in 2018 and it's now January 2022 and it is a uh, 460 bore medium large bore and the bell is five and a quarter inches so it's a little bit larger bell spreads the sound out nicely and gives the trumpet a very nice warm tone and the uh, bell is made of gold brass so it's a step up above yellow brass which means it has a little bit more copper content, which again does give this horn uh, a nice warm tone. The uh, valves, of course, are Carol Brass valves, and they are some of the best in the business. A lot of uh, custom um, trumpet makers use Carol Brass valves, and I really like these valves uh, a lot. They're very smooth, very fast. I broke them in uh, the correct way, which uh, when you get your horn, you give it a, a nice cleaning to get all the um, filaments out. And then for a couple weeks, uh, every time you play the horn, you wipe the valves down and oil them. And uh, that's how you break them in. And that's what I did on this horn. So the valves are excellent. And you can see I have the uh, heavy buttons and top caps and bottom caps. And um, it also comes with the standard size buttons and bottom and top caps. The finish is, <clears throat> it's all lacquer, it's like a clear lacquer, and the bell is more of a light rose color lacquer as opposed to the valve block, which is like a bright yellowish lacquer. And again, it has like a clear coat over it uh, for protection. So, and then the lead pipe and the slides are all nickel silver. <clears throat> which you've got nice, a uh, nice color contrast on this horn. It makes it really uh, beautiful looking with all the different colors on the horn. You've got a, uh, <clears throat> oh, and the lead pipe is nickel silver and it is double walled. So you won't have any issues with uh, the lead pipe. You can see the uh, Carol Brass logo there and on the main the main tuning slide this is a reverse lead pipe which many um, trumpet players that are good players say it helps with efficiency and uh, how the trumpet blows so it's got a reverse lead pipe on it which is a nice feature i opted for the trombone style water keys it gives it a nice retro look and you can dump the moisture um, with with one hand at the same time, which is nice and they're very efficient. I think they work better than the Amato water keys. You got a fixed ring on the first slide and third slide. Slides are nice and smooth, no issues. A compression, excellent. This is one of the best horns I've had with compression. Um, won't have any problems with compression. The uh, there's some nice little details on this horn. You can see on the bracing how they've got like a nice little triangular mount there on the brace. Um, and you've got uh, that on the uh, third slide here. Some nice little intricate features. You got a 
third stop screw on the third slide and you have um, on the top you got the Z bracing and which it's there's minimal bracing on this so when you when you ping this bell and you listen to it it really resonates um, the sound of this um, the tone is phenomenal uh, the quality of the build with Carol Brass is exceptional and they sell their horns for very reasonable prices I think I'm asking a, a reasonable price for this and the horn will also come with another tuning slide so there's two tuning slides this is the D slide and this is the rounded one and you notice it has the trombone style water keys on there also uh, so it will come with that and again it comes with the uh, buttons these are standard size as opposed to the uh, heavy top and bottom caps <coughs> excuse me uh, it'll come with a leather valve guard which I haven't used and a cleaning cloth which I have not used and also uh, the warranty booklet with the information in here with a serial number and that kind of stuff the case is probably one of the best cases I've ever seen it's wood framed so it's very sturdy you can see the Carol Brass logo it has two handles side and top and then metal stops on the bottom and so this is a light brown leather and then the outer corners with the uh, darker brown leather it pads the corners so this is a very nice case I will pack the horn in, the, um, in a very sturdy box with uh, 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 packing peanuts and make sure it gets to you very safely um, there are no uh, issues with this horn. It's in mint condition. Like I said, I just buy and sell horns. I buy them new and sell them after I play them a little while. I hate to get rid of this horn, but I just don't keep horns for very long. Um, so, if you're interested, I'll put my uh, email address down below. You can contact me. If you have any other questions about the horn, please feel free to contact me. And uh, thanks for watching.